Welcome to Tip TV ADVFN tip of the day. I've just looked at myself in the mirror and thought I looked a bit like Jose Mourinho this morning. There you go. Uh, Zach, morning to you, young man. Morning. What's the trade of the day today? Uh, RBS uh, had a decent run up from, what, uh, 170 or so at the beginning of October. Good rally. I'm not quite sure why it deserved that, but a good rally anyway. Uh, helps along by, you know, the Trump election and hopes that the banking sector would have less fines and be less regulated. But uh, you can see here, uh, if you're a technician, a couple of things to look at. Uh, this resistance line there from July, uh, keep hitting that and failing. And also this, uh, uh, these faders in the RSI window, multiple faders, there, negative divergence there. Uh, which is a leading indicator, or can be a leading indicator, on weakness. So, uh, so we've got negative divergence, we've got trendline resistance. Looks as if it just may be topping over. The fundamentals, talking about record fines, aren't we? Well, yeah. how far does this come back? Uh, it comes back to the 200-day moving average, 205. I think that would be a reasonable place for it to find support. So a small trade there for uh, 205, a stop loss above, let's say, 230, which is the 10-day uh, moving average. So here. 230 stop loss target, 205. Time frames? The next uh, two to three weeks. Next two weeks, two to three weeks. Zach, thank you very much indeed. Uh, Vodafone, which is our trade of the day here, sell around two pounds ten. Objective one ninety seven stops above two sixteen. I must say, uh, given the yield on that stock, I'm not sure I'd be going uh, short of it. Um, probably not for too long. I wouldn't. Have yes, thought. exactly. So uh, I we'll think see. we're frustrated with them because with all that cash as a result of the sale of the Verizon, that uh, you know, nothing's happened at all, and uh, Vittorio Colau seems to be sitting on his hands. Now, I'm not suggesting he doesn't know the business better than I do, but it seems as if uh, inertia is set I, think the I don't think they know what to do. I think this is, it's a totally... Um... Well, yeah, all I can say is you cannot stand still as a mobile phone operator with all the competition that's out there without actually bells and adding bells and whistles to it. The prices you, you going can't down do and everything, yeah. I think I like Morrison most, if we're, if we're going to hold it for a bit longer. Uh, the short term trend for BP is, is the oil is still very volatile, but I think the, the, the trends, the underlying the fundamentals for Morrison remain intact. I think it would probably st struggle for that to be derailed rather quickly. Again, the FTSE also remains on uh, politics and, and sterling. Trade of the day, um, dollar yen. I think we've got a good level down at 115, um, between 115 and 114.80. So yeah. along there with a tight stop just below. and. Uh, it's a, it's a nice strong level. You might get a decent bounce off of it.